Hello the folks, it is TIJ Gaming and welcome back to a new installment in the Retro Sunday series. Today, it is one I am really, really looking forward to. I have put hours into this game in my childhood and actually in recent years as well. It's one of my favourite games of all time. Today, we are playing on the Xbox 360 Classic, of course, among other consoles, Test Drive Unlimited. Probably, in my opinion, the best open world racing game of all time. I know that's Something to... that's a big claim. That's a big claim, that is. I know there's been big games like Forza Horizon in the last few years that have been brilliant. But honestly, I don't think... I suppose because of the nostalgia point of view, nothing beats Test Drive Unlimited. An open-world racing game developed by Eden Games and published by Atari for Xbox 360 and Microsoft Windows. And interestingly, uh, the Atari in-house company actually developed the PS2 and PlayStation Portable versions. Now, the game features over 125 licensed sport cars and motorcycles, which I'll show you a little bit later on. And a terrain is modelled after the Hawaiian island of Ohio that features some 1,000 miles of roads and highways. The game was bought out in Europe on the 8th of September 2006 for the Xbox 360. So it was an Xbox 360 exclusive to start off with and then was released for the PS2 and Windows in Europe on the 16th of March 2007, and then the 30th of March 2007 for the PlayStation Portable. Now, I've put a lot of hours into this game in my life, um, but we are going to be starting a new save on today's Retro Sunday. Now, don't worry, I'm not going to lose everything that I've done. Um, I have started this on a new profile on my Xbox 360. So we'll, shut, we'll start uh, a new little uh, Let's Play. Obviously, it's only going to be a 20-minute snippet of the first 20 minutes of this game. And then if we do get time at the end of this video, I will indeed show you guys uh, my save and some of the cars that I've got. So the classic, starting the game, selecting your character. This is just well, nostalgia to a T for me. I always like to select one of the men. Uh, but I'll tell you what, to make things a little bit different, we'll, we'll pick one of the women. Um, and, and so we're not being... Moaned at in the comments for going by looks. We'll just go with the first one in the in the queue. So that'll do. And uh, here we go. So we're boarding the plane to go to Hawaii. So first up, we've got to rent a car. Oh, God, this is brilliant. Before you go to Hawaii... Uh, sorry, welcome to Hawaii. Before you do anything, you'll have to rent a car. Go ahead and choose. Now, the S4 Cabularay, a Chevrolet SSR, a Lode Salisar, a Pontiac GTO, a Mercedes-Benz SLK, and that is the five you can choose from. I am going to go with the Lotus Elise. So we'll rent it for 20 minutes. And then we need to buy some real estate, etc. This is just to tie us over for the moment, so we'll sign on the dotted line. And here we go. We are a two and a half mile drive to get to the destination. Oh, what a game this is. Beautiful sound. Beautiful sound the Lotus has got. And obviously we can go on board. We've got the, the cameras in front. It's very much like an F1 game with the cameras. But the fact you can go on board here is brilliant. It was pretty much a launch title then. I, I suppose the... Was the 360 2005? I can't actually remember now. That's how frightening and how long ago it is. But 2006. This is definitely a retro game. Um, I tend to play PS2 games on the retro... Uh, I was going to say the retro show there. My good friend Captain Goodspeed does a series called the retro show. I don't want to pinch his name. But on Retro Sonos, we tend to feature PlayStation 2 games. So if that's your bag, then there are plenty of videos uh, for you there. But we'll just uh, get back to you guys when we get to the real estate office. The Robin Rogers Estate Agent. Wow, this is uh, a real throwback. Bear in mind, obviously, I haven't started a save on this game for years. Your first purchase, choose the house of your dream. Later on, you should buy more houses to increase your capacity. So we've got pretty much 200,000. Uh, we've got a choice of a few houses. We've either got the flats at Alamona. I was not never really keen on the Alamona flat. So we'll go for the, the Ka Ayu Manu house. So that's all settled. So we've got £48,000 now to go and buy a car. So Rob and Roger have got all our... Uh, belongings dropped off. Not that we've hardly got any, of course. So, you have a garage, so maybe you should buy something. So, there's a few showrooms we can choose from. I've got the Audi showroom, we've got Saturn and Sh uh, Chevrolet, and we've also got the Alfa Romeo. We'll go in all the showrooms and show you guys all the cars available to start off with. 
But there are a lot of different missions on this game. We've got just the generic race missions. There's time attacks. Um, you've got to, you have to pick certain people up as well, and and do all that. That's that's a hell of a lot of fun. And the time challenges are really exciting. And also, as I hinted at earlier, there are motorbikes on this game. Now I finally unlocked them in my save, but it did take a long time. We've just gone the Alfa Romeo garage there. Nothing really that uh, looks too good to me. Alfa Romeo's have got a bit of a bad name these days, I think, especially in this country. I do quite like the, um, I can't think what they're called, but the popular one. <laughs> there's only one, Alfa, I think it's the, I can't remember what it's called now, but there's certainly one in, in England that's quite popular. But as you can see, we can't afford many of these cars. I'll tell you what, there is something that lures me to that satin sky. It's very cheap, but something that lures me, let's get a nice colour on it. I tell you what, I do quite like that blue. So, nice and cheap. Not the best star, uh, car grants to get us started off with, but I like a challenge. Your itinerary is being recalculated. So, have you chosen the right car? The best way is to check it out is to test it against other drivers. Follow your GPS to go to the race. Just check that we can get out. There are police on this game. Obviously, we're driving on the right-hand side of the road. And uh, there are different assists here. Let's turn the radio off. There we go. As you can see, driving aid, sport, hyper sport, off. So we're going to turn the driving aids off altogether. So that means no traction control, no stability control. And I just firmly believe, again, I don't know if this is nostalgia, but this is definitely, in my opinion, the best, not the best racing game of all time, but the best open world racing game and, and free roam. It was very much one I played in my childhood a lot, and I've never found anything to rival this. Forza Horizon's good, sure, but it's just... just hasn't got the feeling this game has. And of course hasn't got the variety this game has either. Unfortunately, the multiplayer servers aren't active for this anymore, so that um, means I can't get a few achievements for the game. I'm very much a completionist when it comes to games like these, trying to get all the achievements. And unfortunately there are a few that have been discontinued. The driving club, I think, has been discontinued on this game. Uh, as well, because the online facility is unfortunately gone because they've closed off the servers. No surprise after 14 years, to be quite honest. I think they closed them around seven years ago now, so I mean, the servers were online for a long time. But half a mile to go then, just to get to our first race. We'll see how we get on in this little satin sky. But obviously, with most games, it is really just a tutorial for the moment, for the most part. Is this the race or a time attack? I'm fairly sure it is a race, yes. So, Rookie's Race, be the first to cross the finishing line, so. This is the circuit, two miles long, obviously no traffic, that would be uh, fun, to say the least. <laughs> but there are, the one brilliant mission I always love is, uh, basically, you get hired to take people's cars, so somebody wants a Saturn Sky, let's say, Saturn Sky taking from here to 20 miles away. Now, there's no time limit, but you have to do it unhinged if you like, you, you can't crash the car, you can't get any damage, you can't run off the road and obviously on games like it, it's very tense to do exactly what I'm doing now, put your foot right down and go absolutely mad, particularly when you get given an absolutely fantastic car um, you can just roll around, I've had McLarens, Mercedes and Ferraris that I've been able to drive around before and they're honestly brilliant to drive but if you run them off the road you do lose that maximum, and it's $80,000 you can get for each of those missions. Um, and if you do it perfectly, you actually get a 50% bonus. So that's 120000 all in all. And obviously, for the completionist in me, I like to do those properly. Now, don't worry, not every race is this easy. Uh, we're, we're, we're just a lot better than these rookies, clearly. This is actually isn't a bad car, you know. Certainly not a bad car. But I've only got a few achievements to go on the game now. I might actually get on, on it on it this afternoon, you know, on my save and start doing some of the achievements. Ooh. See, if you went off the road like that in that uh, 80,000 mission, you'd, you'd lose a little bit. There's obviously a, like a, uh, what's it called? Like a, I suppose like a score rating on the left-hand side. And it goes down very, very slightly to maybe, I don't know, 78,000. But obviously you lose that perfect bonus then. But an easy win. Lights to flag finish. And we've won. That's another 5,000 in the kitty. Excellent. Not good. Uh, sorry, not bad. You did good. You've earned a little R&R &R in your house. Follow your GPS to get there. Resting recuperation, of course, that is. Not anything else. 
And uh, seeing as we are two miles away, by the way, sorry to that person there. I, I do like this Saturn Sky, I have to say, the more I'm driving it. It's uh, a nice two-seater. Never gone for this car before when I've started a game. But uh, I'll see you all when we get to the house. So here we are. This is the house. So on the info screen, you can get the news, rankings, photo album, and obviously the achievements. And I'll show you that. Uh, my game progress a little bit later. The trade option, unfortunately, is not available these days. Um, you can modify the appearance of your character. Again, you can get clothes and all that sort of stuff, but that's not something that massively bothers me. Uh, right, so we've got to set our next objective. The road you've driven are highlighting the bright colour on the map. So these are the solo races. There are quite a few available already. Um, so we'll just filter and change to just single player. Now, have we got uh, any other races available? So we've got speed challenge, which we'll look at. We've got the time attack, and hopefully it will unlock one of the extra missions. So we'll go for the speed one first. Maybe not. Can we get to any of these without... Driving, so I'm just being lazy. Okay, we'll have to go for the one closest to us. So, return on investment. Let's target that with GPS. So, a time attack challenge. Got to get uh, around a certain circuit at a certain time. That's, well, fairly obvious, I would have thought. And then we have got uh, the speed challenge after that. You just put your foot down and try and achieve the speed. That's available, but there are different speed challenges where you can maybe there's probably about six points that you have to get to, and you have to get an average speed. Some of those are tough to get three stars on. I've not even got some of those myself. And this is where this game is so challenging and yet uh, so rewarding. We're only half a mile away from the time attack challenge again. If you guys, this is probably one of the first retro Sundays. If you want to see more videos on this, perhaps an achievement hunt, maybe a few live streams or whatever. Let me know because I absolutely adore playing this game. It's one of those that, probably from the Xbox 360 generation, that I still seriously play. So, time challenge. You must race against the clock. Does what it says on the tin. Here we go. So, 1 minute 50 is the reference score to get around two laps of this circuit. We're going to go uh, with this camera. Usually race in the cockpit, but why not? We'll try something different. Now, these races are quite easy to start off with, but obviously they get a hell of a lot harder as you go up. Um, there is one race which I have done called Tour of the Island. That's a, probably the main race in the game where you have to quite literally go around all the islands. It's a good 45-minute race. Yeah, you heard me right. But equally, there's a nice achievement that comes along with it, so it is more than worth it. I think the only other game that I play as much as this for achievement hunting these days is Bully Scholarship Edition for the Xbox 360. Also on the Xbox One now. Well, I might well do that as a retro Sunday at some point, but I have actually done a Let's Play on Bully on the channel a long time ago now. I don't think this 1 minute 50 is going to be too tricky to get to, seeing as we've done the first lap in 48 seconds, but we could still muck it up, so I'm not going to say too much. Quite nice in the handling, actually, this is. You put the power down, the traction... He's pretty good on it, doesn't squirm. I mean, we've had a few occasions where I was driving back to the house, hand brakes into a corner, come out the corner and it just slid, but I have to say, it's doing pretty good here. Oh, oh, the rear getting a little bit tail happy there. Around the final corner, we'll brake for this one, no point taking the risk with a handbrake. But we are going to do it with plenty of time on the clock. You go, girl. 129.07. Cracking. So, next up, we have got the speed challenge. And then hopefully we should unlock one of the extra challenges, which I would quite like to show you guys, because they're quite good, they are, I think. As I said, you can drive... There, there's certain types of challenges. You can either drive models to places and get clothes, coupons, and all that rubbish. And uh, you can also do... The ones I was talking about, the 80,000 reward. And I think there's a few more. You can deliver packages. Again, not dodgy. There's no, there's absolutely no storyline to this game apart from the races, which just makes it that much better. There's nothing fake about this, which is nice. It's just pure driving, no mucking about. But this uh, speed challenge is a little while away, so I'll see you guys when we get there. Ha-ha, here we are. 
Here we are. This is what I was talking about. Hey, thanks for stopping. I'm totally exhausted. Could you give me a lift? Go on then. Why not? So that's the similar sliding counter to what is on the missions that are worth 80,000. But you get some lovely driving coupons for this, which I couldn't give a stuff about. Yes, there are police on this game. And you do actually get fined if you get caught by them. Getting up to no good. Need to put our foot down now. Hope for the best. Oh! Again, if we do crash or anything here, then we do have a problem. Obviously, there are stop signs here, which doesn't mean it's too particularly great to, to cut the corner without anybody being there. But to be fair, that's... Yeah, a zone that's fairly quiet. We should be okay to get there before the timer, but we have to stop as well before that timer. Believe me, I have thought before that, oh, it's alright, just drive through there, and it'd be like, oh, no, I failed the mission after a good 10, 20 minutes. But it's going to be fairly close here. Come on. I mean, if you're indicating, just go. There's the line. Oh, I, this is what winds me up on the game sometimes. There's just so many cars that try and wind you up by indicating and not going, but there you go. Top model, as you can see, we've got a new coupon. So there you go. We'll actually go to the uh, speed race now. We've done everything in a different order. As you can see, there's another one there. Uh, Liam, basically just a hitchhiking mission. But we won't do all... We haven't got time for all that today. Um, but yeah, there's, there's loads of different types of missions, which is brilliant. Plenty of stuff to get involved with. And of course, there was a sequel released to this in 20... 11, I think I want to say, but I haven't played that all that often. It's not a bad game, and I have got it, uh, but this one is the original, and as tends to be with most things in life, the original is better than the second one, but apparently I have heard whispers that a third Test Drive Unlimited is in the in the works, and if it's got anything to do with Eden Games and Atari, um, I am right with that, but I think I read something that Big Ben Interactive... Um, have actually bought the rights to test drive so we'll see what happens with that but hopefully for the next generation we'll get a, a, a new uh, so well we'll get a new xbox of course but hopefully we'll get a new test drive unlimited here we are then the last mission of the day do what it takes to reach the highest average speed i thought so i think this is over multiple speed cameras as you can see there's four speed cameras we need a rough average of 100 miles an hour which in this saturn sky it's going to be pretty tricky, but we'll see if we can do it. It's got pretty good acceleration. There's another plane coming in. So on that first one, it's going to be 78 mile an hour. Get out of the way, fire engine. Oh. Trying to do a challenge here. 107. Power, 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 as Clarkson would say. We're pretty close. And, oh, we've only got 17 seconds. Jesus. Sorry. Put your foot down. I'll tell you what, this is pretty challenging. We've only got five seconds left. Got to hope we get better on the next one, but it's not going to happen. So we're going to get silver. We're going to try that again. That bloody fire engine getting in the way, I reckon, mucked us up there. And we're off. We were fairly close. 99.13 mile an hour. And I think it was this first, probably the second checkpoint, actually. So we'll keep things completely straight. 78, wasn't it, we got first. So 77, not great. But this second one could be a little bit better. 99, okay, that could just be what we need. 107 again. But 160, oh, look how close that is. Look how close that is. Well, sorry, you can you can forget that. With that 78 mile an hour first time round, we would have done it. But uh, that is all we're going to do today on the mission side. Uh, before we go, I did promise that I'd show you my save. So I'll just hop over to my profile and show you what I've got in my garage. Hello again. We're on a bike now. And one criticism I have of this game is that the bike physics are absolutely terrible. It's great we have bikes in the game, because I can't think of many... I can't think of any free roam games, actually, where you can ride a bike. Maybe apart from GTA, I suppose, but... Ones that are specifically built for racing, but... The bike physics on this are god-awful. Really are. 
But once you get to learn them, and you don't fall off like that, you'll do all right. So, let's uh, show you around. Oh, that's the radio. As you can see, there are a fair few more events now. Uh, let's take it just a single player. Uh, and let's filter them for unsuccessful. As you can see, there is only one mission I've got to do at the moment. There will be more that appear. But it's one of these missions where, as you said, you transport somebody's car and you get a reward for it. As you can see, my money and all that is pretty good. So we've done most of the challenges. Uh, if we look at filters, we'll go with... Can I have how? There we go. I've got four, uh, six houses. Uh, we've got one on the south coast. We've got another one there. One on the east coast. Just the one car in that one for some reason. We've got a Saturn Sky in that. No idea why. Perhaps I'd buy it for a challenge possibly. Um, but we'll go for the very northern one, shall we? You, can't, you do unlock all of this map and I've been trying to unlock all the map. Just uh, because if you don't drive somewhere, you don't actually unlock the missions for it. But if you look at the uh, collection, we've got 38 cars bought, one car sold in a showroom. Not exactly sure how we've done that. We bought four bikes, got a decent spread of stuff. Uh, so, single player rankings. So as you can see, um, we've done all the time attack events, all of the speed events, and all of the race events uh, to a gold star. So we've just got some more events to do. Uh, we've got 10 vehicle transport, 6 courier, 2 hitchhike. And 12 model missions. So not too far to go to reach the whole progress of the game. But we've got to champion. Um, 690 gamer score I've got from this game. As you can see, we've got all of the single player challenges done. Um, the next thing to do is do all 30 of the um, other missions to get all the missions done. Island tour. Um, again, that's something we need to do because we haven't unlocked that yet. Unfortunately, um, we can't do the multiplayer ones. So... Uh, can do instant challenges, but that's about all we can do. So there's 30, 60, 70, 80 gamer score gone. Um, we do need to buy some more cars. Get some new houses. So that's 30, 60. I mean, cover it. I mean, I've got a long way to go to do that, haven't I? Uh, so yeah, there's a, there's a few bits and pieces we can do. But uh, I've pretty much got all the achievements for this game, as you can see. Uh, on here, 33 out of an available 46 achievements. Let's see if I can get one that uh, I did back in the day. Because sometimes the dates come up if you uh, achieve them. No, not quite. 10th of May last year. I mean, I haven't actually played this since last August now. So that's quite a shock. But uh, yeah, that is uh, Test Drive Unlimited. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I'll just quickly show you what's in my garage before we sign off for today. We've obviously got the bike. And as you can see... Um, Hell of a lot of bikes, so we'll invert that. Um, we've got a good spread of cars. We've actually got a few um, duplicates at some places. Jaguar XKR I quite like. The Triumph was Triumph bikes on here. There's a very good um, variety of brands on this. I mean, I can't remember Triumph being on any games in the in the uh, recent past. Kawasaki bikes as well. Enzo Ferrari, Shelby, Ducati bikes. Fords, uh, again more Ferraris, uh, there's a few manufacturers that miss out here, the likes of Porsche, uh, who aren't on many games actually, I think they had a license with something like Gran Turismo or something like that, I mean just look at that Enzo Ferrari and look at that Shelby as well, nice Ducati as well, that's just one of my garages as well, there's uh, a lot more garages left but I'll tell you what, I hate the look of that Volkswagen, I mean just look at the, look at the front bumper, it just looks like it's smiling, grinning and saying why on earth did you buy me? But if you enjoyed that Retro Sunday, a little bit of a different one today because it's one I've played quite often. So just showing you around my um, my progress and a little bit at the start of the game. But if you enjoyed that nonetheless, make sure to leave a like down below. Comment your thoughts about the game as well. Have you ever played it? If not, um, get the game for the console you've got. It's unfortunately not backward compatible on the Xbox One. But hopefully that's something that is being worked on because it's an absolute gem. Uh, but subscribe for regular retro videos. I do a retro Sunday every single Sunday. The playlist will be on the end screen so you can check out all of the retro Sundays that I've done. They are uh, listed by popularity. So the most popular videos will come up first. So in theory, those should be the games that probably you're looking for the most. And there'll be a few other videos on the end screen as well for you to check out. But until the next time, thank you very much for watching. I've been TIJ Gaming and I'll see you guys later.
goodbye for now.